Hey guys, we're here to tell you everything you wanted to know about Oakley Prism lenses. See it in Prism, baby! Everybody, this is Sunglass Rob from Sport RX, and I'm here with my buddy Andrew, our in house Oakley ambassador, to talk about all things Prism. Real quick, if you're finding this interesting and you want even more information, we have an amazing blog that Andrew wrote down in the description. You can read about all of this and get even more technical. But in the meantime, Andrew, how does Prism work? I mean, that's a loaded question right there. I think if I had to sum it up in one sentence, I would say that it's Oakley's proprietary lens technology that works by manipulating the light spectrum and boosting contrast to make just everything in your environment uh, pop with color. Everything's easier to see, details are easier to, easier to pick up on. That's pretty good. It's basically Oakley's lens technology. Almost all Oakley lenses are moving towards prism. I think there's a day in the future where there will only be prism lenses from Oakley. And I gotta say from personal experience and also the last, I don't know how many years of selling it, it is just unbelievable. People love it. Everybody who gets it is in love with it. We promote it more because people like it. And then it like starts this turbine of selling more and more prism lenses. And I personally wear it all the time and I love it. And I feel like, generally speaking, you put on a prism lens and you're just like, what just happened? Like it's almost like this initial shock of amazingness. P people have said to me, is there like a computer chip inside of here? Like what is happening? Do these have a prescription? I didn't know I needed. It's like this extra step, this extra boost that just kind of, it's almost like this unfair advantage of seeing how the world works. It's it's pretty amazing. That's that's a good way of putting it. And I think it's, we'll do our best to explain it, yeah. but until you experience it, you're, you're not really gonna be able to know exactly what it's like. Yeah, so basically what Oakley's done is through the use of these specific dyes, they've been able to change the light spectrum, basically block certain colors of light at certain light spec at, at certain nanometers on the light spectrum to either increase contrast or decrease glare specific to your environment or your sport or both so for example there's a deep water polarized lens uh, prism lens and there's a shallow water polarized lens because they're very different environments even though you're fishing they're different environments so there's a prism lens for each kind of thing you're doing there's two different ones for mountain biking there's two different ones for golf they're getting very specific on exactly what you're doing and giving you the right formula or recipe of lens not just making things lighter and darker but actually adjusting all the aspects of the light transmission for you to see things as clearly with as much contrast as possible. I think the best analogy that I've come up with over the years of trying to explain this technology in words, which is really hard to do because you really got to wear it. It's almost like um, if you had a sound engineer adjusting every frequency of your uh, sound system specific for what you're listening to. You know like some of those stereo systems where you hit rock and roll and then you hit hip hop and then you hit theater and then you hit like news and it just adjusts all the treble and the bass and all the little micro frequencies. It's basically the Oakley engineers, have, you said golf, so they put golf and it micro adjusts every part of the light spectrum specifically for golf. Now if you're like in Phoenix and you're playing golf, you get dark golf and if you're like in Portland playing golf, you get regular golf because it's uh, more contrast. So it's basically like a sound engineer playing with every frequency for you to get the most enhanced experience you could possibly get, which I almost feel like we're starting to take for granted because it's been around a few years now and it's just like, how do you not have this? It, it, it has, we're, we're kind of, we've grown accustomed to it, uh, the benefits that it provides. Um, and I think you, you talked about this earlier, but it's awesome too because there's a prism option for any activity that you're gonna do. Uh, prism snow, prism sport, all the sports covered, and prism every day. Yeah, so there's like three family of prism. Exactly, yeah. that's, that's the way we like to look at it, kind of break it up like that. Yeah, there's the snow one, we have videos on that. There's the sport one and that gets really in depth. And then there's the everyday one, which um, gives you that same boost in contrast, but kind of more, a little bit more toned down version of that for everyday use where you're still getting a lot of contrast, but it's not like specific for any one kind of thing. Right, right. Yeah. I think we should maybe dive into the manufacturing process Yeah, please, a please, bit. please. So 
All Oakley Prism lenses are made of plutonite. So plutonite is Oakley's proprietary lens material and it's a high grade polycarbonate. So other brands use polycarbonate lenses, but nobody uses plutonite. So when a prism lens is made, that dye that you were talking about earlier is actually uh, the plutonite's melted down and the dye is added. And I really like this because it makes sure this is prism field, that a prism field lens is prism field all the way through. Um, some it's not like a lens where you coat it, it's like within the lens, exactly, in the manufacturing process. Exactly, yeah. which, is, which is totally awesome. You can't awesome. scratch prism off a lens or anything like right, that. Yeah, right. it's prism yep. through and through. And that way it's uniform and consistent throughout the lens. And if you buy one from on Tuesday, it's the same as it is on Wednesday kind of a thing. Exactly. Yeah, and amazing. not to mention all plutonite lenses are <laughs> super impact resistant. So yes. for sport, perfect um, to have an impact resistant lens, even for, for every day as well. You only got one one set of eyes, so you might as well protect them. They're kind of important. Yeah, yeah kind of important. A bit. You're talking to some of us, Rob, who's a little passionate about this. Um, <laughs> there's a question that we get asked a lot about prism lenses, and is that, are all lens, prism lenses polarized, or, or how does that kind of differentiation, differentiation is that a word? Work. Um, so not all prism lenses are polarized, but there are polarized prism lenses. So you can get a prism polarized, and the everyday lenses are going. You're going to find a lot of polarized options. Or if it's a sport lens where polarization is a true benefit, like fishing, then they're going to be polarized. But road biking, it's arguable if polarized is good or not. Some people love it, some people don't. Mountain biking, I think it's pretty uniform that polarized mm -hmm. is not the best option. Golf polarized is not the best option. Um, baseball polarized is not the best option. So when polarized is important for that sport and it's really gonna give you benefit, then Oakley uses polarized within the prism technology. And if it's not, they don't. And then sometimes you're gonna have an option. Like if you want an everyday one, you can get prism sapphire, non-polarized, or you can get prism sapphire polarized and I have both and I love both and they just have different uses generally the polarized lenses are going to be a little bit darker um, so that's why for some sports it's not a good option and for some people in some sports in some situations polarized can affect depth perception which is like for baseball why you really don't want polarized and when you really think about it polarized cuts out reflective glare and in some sports like mountain biking there's not that much reflective glare it might be bright it might be sunny but it's not like a lot of glare with sunlight hitting the water and coming at you at this glare ball like there is in fishing when polarized is super, super important. Did I, I said a lot there about I, that. I think you pretty much summed it up. The way I look, I like to look at it is a polarized lens cuts glare while prism manages color. And a prism polarized lens does both of those. I like the way you said that. You are the Oakley ambassador, aren't you? I'm trying. Man, I love this guy. Um, so that was a lot of information. Another question we get asked is, can you get them in prescription? That says RX there, doesn't it? It does. Yeah, yes. Um, many, many Oakley polarized prism, prism polarized, regular prism comes in prescription. <clears throat> Not every single color in the prism family is available yet in prescription, but as time goes on, more and more are being introduced. Usually there's like a three month lag or so, like something yeah. comes out new and then like within three months, hopefully it comes out in the prescription world. We're always pushing the Oakley team and the Oakley family to make them all available in uh, prescription. So you can, and by the way, you can also get your, pres your uh, Oakley prism goggles with prescription SportRx inserts. So you can get those in prescription. And that's a whole nother video you should check out. Man, that was like all the Prism info. What did we forget except that we freaking love it. It's amazing. You should probably stop watching this video and get a pair. Like it's just, it's just rad. It's the future. It, it, all these lens techs are just, they're above and beyond. And I feel like between regular lenses, which were amazing from Oakley and Prism, it's not like one step or a slight increase. It's like a significant new world of technology. Oh, totally. It's a whole new era and it's it's just fantastic. I can't, I love it. I love Prism. I'm just gonna say it. <laughs> I do too. Yeah. Uh, so if you enjoyed this video, we would love a thumbs up. Uh, we'd love for you to subscribe to the channel to continuously learn more about Oakley lenses and sunglass lenses and technology. If you have any questions, comments, we'd love to hear from you. Put it down in the comments section. If you have a favorite prism color, we'd love to know which one it is and why. Put that down in the comments section. You can even post a picture of you wearing them. All right. We'll see you out there. We'll see you in prism. Later. Later.